is Sunday and we are at the Hack and Pack shop. Never a day off here in this place. Today's video, wet sanding and buffing, what we painted yesterday. I've already started wet sanding here, all right, but I figured I'd use this fender as a good example. I'm gonna try to get you the best quality possible. I got this camera turned up all the way to 1020 for the HD resolution, but who knows how it's gonna come out once it gets to YouTube. But if you look, up close, if you look in the light, you can see a bunch of dust, and you can see some orange peel, okay? That's what sanding and buffing does. It gets rid of that, okay? I mean, I could throw, I could unmask this thing, pull outside, it'll look good to most people, but once you get it under these lights in here, uh, fluorescent lights really enhance flaws in paintwork, okay? especially on a darker color. Now this is like a medium blue, okay? It's not a dark color. But you can see if I get real close, you can see all the imperfections here. So, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna wet sand this fender with 1500 grit, and then we're gonna jump to 2000 grit, and then we're gonna buff it. So what I'm gonna do, I have a little bit of water in here, a little bit of soap solution in my little bucket. I'm just gonna run a little bit of water down this fender. All right, and the soap actually helps the sandpaper a little bit. I, I think it, it keeps it from clogging up so quick, okay? Good medium to firm pressure. We're just gonna wet sand this till we really don't see any flaws in it anymore. And I know it's hard to tell when there's water on it. All right, but I'll show you how to get around that too. And you wanna stay off of all these body edges. Any body line like this, you wanna stay right off it. All right, if you actually watch my finger, I'm pretty much off that line, okay? Now, I'm not gonna sand this down to perfectly smooth because this car does have a little bit of orange peel in it anyway. So we wanna kinda try to keep that texture all the way around the whole car, including what I painted. I mean, you can start right off with 2000 grit if you want. Some of the rough stuff with major dust and whatnot, I mean, I've started with 800 and 1000, and then worked my way to 1500, 2000, sometimes 2500, okay? I'm not gonna do this whole fender right now. I'm just gonna do little parts here so we can uh, get this video rolling. That's all I'm using. I'm just using an old uh, uh, applicator here. And then just squeegee it down. And you can see what you got. You got a dull finish. All right, and I've got probably 80% of the crud out. You can see just a little bit of teeny shiny here and there, okay? And that's just a little bit of the peel and the paint. All right, but we got the dust off it. That's what we care about. Now let me go grab the buffer. I'll finish wet sanding this whole fender first, and then we'll grab the buffer and then we'll buff this fender on camera so you can actually see what kind of a difference it really made. Let's start a little buffing. I'm gonna try to stay out of the camera. You don't need a whole lot of compound. You wanna keep your area kind of small. That's plenty to start with right now. I did dab a little bit on the uh, buffer pad too. Got a brand new 3M buffer pad using 3M compound. show you what we got going on so far here. This uh, pad's not lining up with the uh, backing pad on my buffer though. 
But if you look here, see the difference? You can still see a little bit of a little bit of crap here, okay? But it's not bad at all. It's a lot smoother than it was, and that's kind of what you want to look for. You want to stay off the edges with a buffer, okay? Stay off the edges with a wet sandpaper. Take your time, good medium speed. You'll be just fine. So let me get some more buffing done, and then we'll turn you back on. All right, she's all buffed out. This paint's still a little bit soft, so I didn't really get down hard. I gave it a real light buff. I'll probably go back over it, but I kind of want to start putting the insides of the doors and stuff back together on this thing, so let's take the clothes off. see what we got here. Looks like we have almost a dead camera. You know that match isn't really too bad at all. I'm sure if I even go over the sea like right here that light it looks terrible. It's off a mile but you turn here it actually looks pretty good. I guess we'll pull it outside and we'll uh, we'll really uh, get the truth out of this thing. Well, I'll do. I'll run a buffer over this edge of the hood. See, look, looking at it here, it's just it's off three miles. But you know, I said something to the guy about doing the hood. He really didn't want me to get into the hood, so I, I did tell him I'd do the best I could. <clears throat> back here, I just did a blend. It's dark back here. You really can't even tell. Let's see what it looks like to the bumper. See, so, you now looking at this angle on the camera. Here it's perfect. I guess it just depends on what direction the light hits it. Here it actually looks a little bit maybe greener on the camera, but the naked eye it actually looks bluer. Kind of weird. <clears throat> All right, well, let me get this thing uh, untaped the rest of the way. We'll pull it outside and we'll really see what we have going on here. All right. This is where I did the blend back in here. Of course, that's good because there's really no, the color kind of stopped right in this area. So color didn't get close enough to the bumper to really make a color change difference. But then you get up here to the fender. Got quite the difference here. I mean, this is in the shade. It's, you know, obviously, <laughs> you know what I mean? 
but uh, it's not sunny out. Now when the sun's out, it might change it all together again. So when I see him, I'm gonna talk to him and say, hey, you know, probably should carry the color into the hood. And uh, I mean, there's a little bit of damage here in the hood that he didn't want fixed anyways. He was trying to save money. I mean, he's paying out of his pocket. He paid cash for this car. He didn't put collision on it, or he had collision on it and took it off. So, you know, this is straight up out of his pocket. That's why it's here, because he got a killer deal. But looking there, I mean, that fender looks 22 shades off on camera, but looking at it in person, it don't look so bad. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. Tell me the truth. That camera don't match, or, or that hood don't match that fender worth a shit. That I do know. Like, son of a bitch. Yeah, looking at it here, it looks like a whole different freaking color. On camera. In person, it don't look half as bad as it does on camera. I don't get it. But it is what it is. Well, it's going to be tomorrow. See here in person, this actually looks worse than it does on camera. Weird. Weird, weird. All right, guys. Well, with all that being said, y'all have a goody goody. I'm gonna put this thing uh, somewhere because I gotta bring in my old plow truck and put a little section of frame in today. Oh yeah, fun. fun. Actually, it's not a section of frame; it's a bracket that broke off of the frame that holds the front pumpkin in. Fun stuff. Maybe we'll do a video on it. We'll see what kind of mood I'm in.